The following is a brief description of the workings of a double beam spectrophotometer. The purpose of this instrument is to determine the amount of light of a specific wavelength absorbed by an analyte in a sample. The starting point in our movie is the light source. Depending on the wavelength of interest, this can be an electrically powered ultraviolet, visible, or infrared lamp. Not shown in this diagram is the spectrophotometer's monochromator, which selects the analytical wavelength from the source lamp's broad spectrum containing many wavelengths of light. The analytical wavelength itself is chosen based on the absorbance characteristic of the analyte, which are known in advance. In UV instruments, the monochromator is placed after the source lamp, but before the rotating sector mirror described next. In the instrumental design schematically shown here, the source lamp's beam is alternately diverted at right angles by a rotating disc with three separate sectors. One sector allows the beam to pass straight through the disc, another has a mirror surface, and a third is black. When the beam passes through the disc, it shines directly into the sample cell. If the sample is a liquid, then this cell contains a cuvette and is made of a transparent material, such as quartz, that does not absorb light in the spectral region of interest. The analyte is dissolved in a solvent held in that cuvette. When the source light is reflected at 90 degrees by the rotating disc, instead of striking the sample cuvette, it passes through the reference cuvette, which contains only solvent. By the way, the light path through a spectrophotometer need not be in a straight line, since the light beam can be redirected using mirrors, as can be seen here. Sometimes lenses are also used to collect and collimate the light. After traveling through either the sample cell or reference cell, the light that was not absorbed, by far most of the beam, is directed onto the phototransducer or light detector. This component in the spectrophotometer converts the arrival of photons into an electrical signal, and in most modern instruments, this signal is then digitized by a computer. The alternating light signals from the reference beam and sample beam generate alternating electrical phototransducer signals. A computer sampling those signals can now determine the analyte absorption in two ways. Some instruments merely subtract the sample beam's signal intensity from that of the reference beam. The difference is a measure of the amount of light absorbed by the analyte. Since phototransducers are relatively poor at measuring the absolute difference in two different light intensities, especially if that difference is large, light absorbances determined in this manner can contain unacceptable amounts of error. Phototransducers are, however, good at comparing light beams that are close together in intensity. Therefore, an alternate means of determining the analyte absorption is used by some instruments. Some spectrophotometer designs use the digitized signal difference between the sample and reference beams to activate a servo motor connected to the computer and a device called an optical wedge. The servo motor slides the optical wedge into the brighter reference beam's path somewhere after the reference cell but before the phototransducer. Remember that since the reference cell does not have any light-absorbing analyte, the light exiting that cell will always be brighter than that from the sample cell, even if the solvent itself absorbs some at the analyte wavelength. The optical wedge is made of a material that itself absorbs light so that the more the wedge intersects the reference beam, the more of that beam will be absorbed by the wedge and the less will be the difference between the sample and reference signals. The wedge is automatically fed into the reference beam until the reference and sample beam signals are of exactly identical intensity as measured by the phototransducer. And when the signals are equal, the amount of wedge needed to produce this zero signal difference is a measure of the analyte absorption. Since the computer controls the wedge and knows its position exactly, it converts wedge position to an absorbance reading of the sample.